this is part one of my uh, entire hip hop collection. Um, now, all my CDs are in an order, so instead of me picking out random CDs and forgetting where I am, I'm gonna start from the top and just work through them. So most videos will probably be basically a video on just one artist showing, me, showing my collection. Um, now I do have vinyls and cassettes also of the artists, but I'm gonna do them separate videos. So one video will be my entire cassette collection, the other one my entire vinyl collection, just so I don't forget of what I've already showed and what I've already not. Um, everything I will be showing is already on my Instagram page, but I just thought I'll start doing a few videos, just going through, showing them more, and if people can, you know, have any uh, recommendations and albums I don't have, or if they have any questions about the albums I own, just drop a message. Um, so, first off, we're starting with The Game. Now, The Game's one of my favorite artists. Uh, I've managed to see him live twice. Once in 2018 in Manchester, um, I actually managed to meet him, get a picture with him, get him to sign some of my CDs, and actually be on stage for the whole gig. Um, so what I'll do after this video, I'll probably drop another video of just some videos of that experience. Um, and then I saw him last year, just before the COVID, um, got really bad and everywhere got shut down. Um, I wasn't on stage that time, but that's still another great gig. I actually went uh, on my own to that one. My first gig I've actually been to on my own. Um, so yeah, first we're starting with the game. So, the documentary. Now I actually own three copies of this, two being the standard. Um, now this is one of my first hip hop albums I actually ever own, owned. Um, it used to be my favorite game album, but it's probably my second favorite now. Uh, Jesus Peace, I'd say is probably my favorite game album. And then um, the special edition. Now I actually got this one uh, hand signed by the game. When I met him, I actually got him to sign three of my CDs, so I'll be showing them. Uh, this one comes with the uh, the DVD. I have watched it, but I can't actually remember um, remember what it's about. I think it's just a documentary about the making of the album and stuff. I won't bother going through my favourite tracks because there's plenty of albums I need to get through, so we'll be here forever. But one of my favourite albums, um, but not my favourite game album. Now, second, we have Doctor's Advocate. Um, two versions, one with the DVD. Again, I think it's like the other one, just a documentary about uh, making the album and stuff. Um, and then you've got your standard, where it says special edition, but I don't know. Oh, it came with a bonus track. Uh, track. Um, to be honest, I haven't really, I don't know, I feel like this wasn't as good as his previous album, but definitely not as good as the documentary, sorry. Um, I don't know, if I go to listen to a game album, I don't normally pick this one up and think, oh, I'll throw this on. Maybe I need to give it a bit more, a uh, bit more props and play it a bit more, but um, yeah, overall it's a good album, but what I can remember. Uh, then we have uh, Lax, LAX. Um, yeah, another good album. I mean, he hasn't really dropped a, a shit album, to be honest. Um, all his albums have great tracks, but I only have one version of this. I know there's, I think, two more versions with different covers. Um, so I might try and get them. Oh yeah, there is a special edition, actually, where I think there's four extra tracks. Um, so I do need to get that. That's one I still need to get. Um, the Red Album. Um, again, I only have the one edition of it. Um, I keep going to see my favourite tracks, but we'll be here forever if I do that. So Then we have Jesus Peace. Now, this is my favourite game album. Um, I've got two versions. I actually managed to get this one hand-signed as well, which I'm really happy about. I might actually get this one framed and then just buy another version of this just so I can keep it um, with a disc and stuff. And then I have the... I don't know what version this is. I know it's the uh, deluxe version, and I know there's a couple different deluxe versions out there, but this has um, all the tracks that were released for this album, even the digital ones, I think. So you've got I Remember, Blood Diamonds, Blood of Christ, Holy Water. I know 
I think Church wasn't on the original album. Um, so this is the one I listen to if I listen to any of them. Um, show inside. I think it's a different disc to... Yeah, yeah, so you've got the white version and then the red. Um, but yeah, that's my favourite game album of all time. Then we have Blood Moon, Year of the Wolf, another great project. This is probably my third favorite. I know it's, I don't know if you'd class it as one of his solo albums because every track has a feature on and I think even one of the tracks he isn't actually on. But out of all his projects, I'll probably say this is my third favorite. I remember being really hyped for when this came out. I do have the box set up above, uh, but I'll be showing that in another, uh, in another video. Then we have the documentary 2 and the documentary 2.5. Um, uh, I don't know about these two albums. I remember when they first came out, I was really disappointed. Um, but the more listens I get into it more. So they're not as bad as I remember, like when they first came out. Um, I think I was just too hyped, basically. Uh, and I just, just felt let down. But then the box set came out with the third disc with the extra four tracks. Um, I don't know if you can still get this. I don't actually see it around. Um, it's a nice box art. I don't know if I can get it all in the, uh, in the video. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, the album, I was overhyped, I think. Um, it's not as bad as I thought when it first came out. There are a few great tracks on there. Um, but I just felt like the game was rushing albums out at that point. I know we released like, I think it was 1992, the documentary 2, 2.5, and then two soundtracks, like in a really close period. And I remember just thinking, I mean, one of them's on now, but I remember just thinking they were a bit rushed. Um, so now we're going on to 1992. Again, another album, I was overly hyped and it didn't live up to my expectations, but listening back at it now um, it's not as bad as I remember and it is a good project same with all these they're all good projects um, and then this came with a separate disc just for one track uh, don't know what that was about um, I can't actually remember that song I don't even know if I've listened to it properly and then we have uh, Born to Rap his latest album um, now when this came out I just skipped through it online and I didn't like the sound of it at all um, then I went to see him live uh, beginning of last year for the Born to Rap tour and the songs he performed that I loved so I decided to buy the album and um, yeah I was surprised um, very good album I mean there's a lot of tracks 24 but yeah it's a really good album I feel like when I listen to albums on digital like Spotify and stuff I don't enjoy it as much unless I'm holding the CD and listening to it through my speakers Um now, I've got loads of mixtapes by the game, so I'm going to go through them quick, because um, again, we'll be here forever. So I'll start with the two soundtracks that are on. So one that's currently playing, Streets of Compton. I believe this was for a documentary he did, but I haven't seen the documentary. Um, I can't seem to find it, actually. I do want to watch that, so if someone can help me out with that. Then we have Block Wars, the soundtrack. I think this was for a game that was meant to come out. Um, yeah, and it never came out, I don't think. So, again, I don't know what happened with that. But, yeah, this came out the same period as... Was that 2015, 2016? Yeah. Oh, no, both 2016, sorry. So, I think he released, like, four albums around the same time. Uh, five albums, I think, actually. So, again, I thought he was just rushing them out. So, mixtapes. I'm just going to go through them quick. So, we have Charge It to the Game. The mixtape. Um, game Time. Uh, this is a BWS Radio 5. Um, it's not just the game on this one. But uh, yeah, it says the game on the side. So, um, OK, uh, Deluxe Edition. I've been wanting this album for ages. It took me forever to find it at a good price. Now, I do love this mixtape. Um, again, I won't go for it. This video will be like 20 minutes long. Um, the game Untold Story. Now, I actually got this one signed as well. Just going to get this out. This comes with a DVD as well. Um, I don't know if 
if you can see that. But yeah, I got him to sign this one as well. I believe this was one of his first albums, if not his first. I might be wrong on that. Like, he released himself, not on a label. Um, so this is his really old stuff. Uh, the game. Game. Uh, Unreleased Red. California Republic. Untold Story Volume 2. Uh, Stop Snitching, Stop Lying. Um, I own the DVD for this, but that'll be in another video. Um, but yeah, this is basically the soundtrack for that. So it's all just um, about this in 50 Cent and G Unit and all them. Um, Ghost Unit. I think that was another uh, mixtape, this and G Unit and stuff. Uh, Perp and Patron. Uh, what's this one called? Hood Morning. Uh, West Coast Resurrection. Uncovered. 2006. Um, now, this is annoying because it had a sticker on the cover, so it looks a bit shitty. But um, Who Got Game? The mixtape. And West Side Story. Um, so that's all my game albums. I do have vinyls, um, DVDs, magazines, and I do have the box set of Year of the Wolf above. Um, but that'll be all in a different video. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, the game, like I said at the beginning, one of my favourite artists. Um, it's not dropped a weak project, although a couple of them I thought were weak when they came out. Listening to them again, I do enjoy them. Um, a few of them I wish were better, but... We'll see. I mean, he's said to have been retired now, but I've heard that he's got a new album coming out, like a 40-track album. Um, so we'll see about that. Um, also, quickly, on his live performances, I'd probably say Game's one of the best artists to see live. I mean, he interacts with the crowd, um, which is a big part of a good gig, I'd say. He gets people on stage. Um, both times I've seen him, he gets them on stage. I just think overall he just interacts with the crowd and the fans. You know, some artists just do the gig and go. Whereas the game stays, I mean, you know, stays and gets people involved, which I think is really good. So I'd definitely be going to see him again. And also he's quite cheap to see. I'm sure tickets were like £25 to see live, which is, I'd say, quite cheap to see the game, really. Um... You know, being who he is and stuff, and I'd say he's one of the best rappers out there. I'd, I'd have thought, you know, when I went to see 50 Cent, that was about, what, £50 a ticket? I'd have thought the game would have been up there, but the game was smaller gigs, interacts with the crowd more, which is definitely worth And I'm not complaining. Um, so, yeah, this was my part one. I mean, I'm not very good at talking to the camera, as you probably noticed, so I'm going to try and get better. Um, probably went through a few CDs a bit quick, but I'm going to try and slow it down in my next video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any recommendations, you want to ask me about any of the CDs I've shown, if there's anything I'm missing, let me know. Um, my next video, I'm probably going to upload a few clips of the gigs, um, so you can watch that if you want. I'll start with the one when I'm on stage with him, and then I'll go into the gig last year. And I'm going to mix it about, I'm going to show magazines on some videos, show cassettes on others, show vinyls on the others, just to mix it about so it's not as boring, it's just constantly CDs. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.